So I met Carol my first day of college, and it was love at first sight for me. I don't think she felt the same way, but that was definitely the case for me. We started dating my freshman year, and we got married six years later, and we had two daughters named Sophia and Katie. And in 2009, we felt called to plant a church in Washington, D.C. And it would end up being the worst year of our entire lives. It all started in the spring when Carol suffered a miscarriage and we lost our third child. And then in the fall, our new home was broken into and everything was stolen from it. And then in November, Carol received the results of a mammogram back from her doctor. She had breast cancer. Our doctor explained to us the kind of cancer that Carol had. It was called triple negative breast cancer. It would resist most treatments and it would spread rapidly. And in fact, it had spread to her arm. So not only did she have breast cancer, she had the worst kind of breast cancer she could have. To make matters even worse, our health insurance company sent us a letter stating that this was a pre-existing condition and so they wouldn't be responsible for paying for any of her treatments. We would have to pay for it on our own. We were blindsided by these events. But to be honest, I was more than blindsided. I felt betrayed by God. And I kept on asking God the question, what are you doing? Why are you letting this happen to us? A month later, Carol went to the hospital for a mastectomy and a routine blood test right before surgery revealed something that we never expected to hear, that Carol was pregnant. We were blindsided by this news, but in a very different way. Our surgeon, who was a believer, took us aside and told us, I don't know what God is up to, but he's up to something. And we had to agree with that. Because even though we didn't understand what God was doing or what his plan was, we knew that he was present and that he was up to something. And we knew this because of this child. It was through this child that my very small and my very immature understanding of God would be completely demolished and something much better would be constructed in its place. And it was through hearing about this child that I would come to realize that sometimes the best and the worst moments of our lives actually coexist, that suffering and joy come hand in hand with each other. This book is a story of that child and the hardships that we face and the lessons that we would learn, but also the many joys that we would experience. This book is a story of how I came to realize that sometimes what we need most in life is to be blindsided by God.